because the natural man receives not the things of the spirit, because they are spiritually discerned. So we have to come in alignment with his truth as we become persuaded in our understanding that he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. So change is so important. We, an alignment in our thinking on the way we perceive and our perceptions as we draw out from the well of salvation, as we take a closer look in everything that was said within this house, and we become, and we become partakers of what we heard. So our hearing had to go beyond our senses. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay, Abraham heard one word from God and he moved on it. Yeah, yeah. Out of your, he came out of his country, from his father's house, from that birthplace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have a working understanding every time we meet. So our perception should shift in our understanding and the way we think, even as we hear truth. Revelation through application brings demonstration by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through his, through the veil through the veil of his flesh. Amen. And Ephesians 2 and 8 say, For by grace, his loving kindness, his favor, his gratitude, his credit of our hearts and minds to be thankful of the gift of grace and favor of blessings by which God extending his holy influence upon our souls to have the knowledge of his will through faith. That being saved, that soy kind of life, that yeah. sound, that restoration, that as he restored to help rescued yeah. us from danger. Uh -huh. <laughs> we all was in a lot of danger one, once yeah. upon a time. Oh, Some of us yeah. still there. <laughs> yeah. And it has to come from within. So once the soulish nature, and that's not of yourselves, so that soulish nature, not of yourselves, but the gift of God, not of works as any man should boast, but we know to come up in our thinking, even in our understanding, there has to, there has to be a greater increase of faith and reliance and trust, being persuaded on how we believe. Our conscience should be more fertile and clear. Is that right? Is that right? Fertile and clear yeah. and clean in our understanding. Don't be too quick to judge a thought when you hold it captive because you're in agreement with wrong imagination. Right. Say that again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Okay, hold it. Okay, let me find it. <laughs> okay, we have to come up in our thinking, even in our understanding. There's a greater increase of faith and, and being persuaded on how we believe our conscience should be fertile and clear and clean yeah. in our understanding. Don't be too quick to judge a thought when you hold it captive because you are in agreement with the wrong imaginations. Yeah. Especially when it exalts itself against the knowledge of God. When it's not trying to receive. You have to receive it in the spirit. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So when we welcome truth and acknowledge what we hear, and it becomes imparted into our spirit and our knowledge and examine ourselves in the faith and become more aware <laughs> having a... Uh, Worthy respect for what we know to be true and true. Yes. So we have to have that worthy respect. We have to value what we hear. Yes. So when you value it, you'll go back and search it out. When you That's value it, it you committed to it, it, you will hold on to it on with now. dear life. Because yes. <laughs> yes. that is your life. Yes. I like that. Yep. Okay. The spirit of his word, your, your values, your faith, your persuasion becoming more evident and your perceptions have to shift than the veil of limitations that limit you from accepting what you receive shifts in your thinking. Mm -hmm. 
So once we're persuaded in our faith, as our thinking starts to shift and our understanding become more fruitful in our appearance on what we know to be true, change, appearance, growth becomes more evident and we become into the become more and more into the divine nature of Christ's life. Steps and development, line upon line, precept upon precept, yeah. as we become more and more faithful to the faith mm. that's being delivered, up, delivered yeah. to us through the word, through teaching, yeah. through instructions, yeah. Yeah. In, the way, in the ways of his spirit. So as we move away from our external perceptions, Father, I just pray. Move by your spirit, Lord. Open their understandings, Father. I pray for those that might struggle, Lord, that you give them strength to overcome different things. Father, that they'll move more and more into your word, that your, their hearts would be open, that they'll go back, and they'll even search out those things, that, that it'll become life-giving to them. And bless this word, Father. Let it fall on good ground. I pray right now, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Man, praise God. A lot of meat in there. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get it formatted and bring it, bring it because I, I think it, it's worth it. You know what I mean? So I don't want to just waste it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to put it in a, a fashion where it can go become linear. You know what I'm saying? And I 